And Robert Pattinson is great in his performance also. He really um, is. So I had I had watched it. You you never saw it. Um, Heaven only knows no. is their movie before this. So Heaven only knows is it, it, it's actually like it's, it's a very different movie. So Heaven only knows feels more like a Harmony Corinne movie than it does a Safdie Brothers movie. But they had wrote they wrote the movie Good Time for Robert Pattinson. Because Robert Pattinson, around that time, you know, he was just done with Twilight and he wanted something to um, kind of change himself. his image and differentiate him. And he, I, I forget which film festival Heaven Only Knows premiered at, but he saw it and decided, like, these are the people that I so, want to direct a movie for me to make it seem like... So he got on, he, so they got on his radar, and then he got in touch with them, and they wrote this specifically for him. And they wrote spe this specifically for him because I know that they wrote they wrote Howard specifically for Adam Sandler, and they were that, trying for like ten years to. Um, yes, I did hear about that. So it's like yeah. kind of a little bit of a pattern there. Do we know anything yeah. about just because I'm always interested in this stuff? Do we know anything about how they came to be? As far as like, um, you know, we've talked about different directors who yeah have no they um they don't they're both relatively young to be filmmakers yeah, they, they're both they, in their 30s yeah they don't have family in the industry though they're both um uh, their parents are immigrants from uh like east uh, one of the eastern european com uh countries and they grew up in queens new york and um uh, they've been making like kind of New York style short films since forever. I mean, even like uh, up until right before Good Time, like they didn't really have any known actors in any of their movies. They're just extremely low budget like filmmakers who kind of just went out there. Um, and then they just kind of build built a reputation and then they built a rep i mean good time was was a huge indie uh success i mean sure. i mean when that if you movie, have patents in it's gonna it's yeah. gonna do well um i, I mean everybody everybody kind of loved that movie in like the indie scene you know it's um, funny you we we did the devil all the time and and that was one of your top movies of uh 2020 and um one of your top performances yeah i gotta say and I haven't seen all of his films. I certainly didn't see any of the Twilight stuff. I haven't seen any I was, of the Twilight movies. I was too old by the time Actually, that came no. Out. I watched the first half of, like, the first Twilight, and I, uh, I fell asleep. Okay. Because it was... Rave it's, review. It's, it's terrible. I'm sure it is. It's really well, bad. Well, it's not for us. It's for, you know, young children. Yeah. But anyway, um, as far as performances go, this this beat the living daylights out of the devil all the time for no, me. No, he, he's amazing in this. He He's a great actor. I mean, you know, you can't judge his performance off of Twilight. He was 17 years old and someone was like, hey, do you want to be the male lead in like one of the biggest, uh, you know, teen uh, romance not, novels yeah. on the planet? No, I'm like, I'm, I'm no judging one's going to say no to that role. I'm judging it off of yeah. the devil all the time. Yeah. Which he but, wasn't bad. He was good. I mean, no. to your, you know, you, you thought it was one of your best performances last year. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying I thought Good Time was was even better. No, no, he's amazing. Um th that's what I'm saying where like he does disgusting things in this movie, but you kind of sympathize with him. I mean, you do get the sense of like he is taking advantage of his brother 100% and it's yeah. kind of it's disgusting what he's doing where he's basic, he's coercing a mentally handicapped guy to participate in a robbery with him yeah. but you you also get the sense that he actually does care about his brother a lot and does like want what's best for, uh for him kind just, of kind of i mean he also like the whole like taking the wrong person out of the hospital thing like yeah his brother didn't seem to be on the forefront of his mind right i mean i suppose the whole movie is him trying to eventually get him out of the hospital yeah but he's really evading authorities right um no it's it's cool and obviously there's also that pacing that is uh these, these movies are constant anxiety and dude i i i had i had two double espressos and yeah. then watched good time and uncut gems so back i was back. i had fucking my heart my heart rate i know they're both really bad high. movies to drink coffee beforehand 